What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to NASCAR Thunder 2002. We're here in Martinsville for the Virginia 500, and we're going to go ahead and qualify after a rough race in Texas. Didn't quite get the finishes that we were looking for, so here we are. With so here we go, we're going to qualify. <laughs> this race is gonna be long here, Martinsville. We're gonna start 40th here, Martinsville. Just terrible. I just couldn't get qualifying done. Well, not a good day for us in qualifying here in Martinsville for the Virginia 500. But here's the top 10 starters. Starting lineup for the here in Martinsville. Casey Atwood on the pole, followed by Kenny Wallace in second. Texas Terry Labonte in third, Elliot Sattler fourth. Jeff Green, Rusty Wallace, the Rockingham winner. In seven, Mike Skinner, Dell Earnhardt Jr. in seventh and eighth. In roll four. And round right out the starters, Matt Kenseth, the Bristol winner, and Sterling Martin starts fifth. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It should be a long, it should be a wild race. Who will get? And here we go, and Martin's little green flag in the air. Oh, wow! Everybody's like checked up here. The one was in the grass. Wow, this is one more down. Look at it. Still there. Oh, caution is out on the racetrack here. Oh, the 10 is in the pit wall. Alright, caution flag is out here in Martinsville. Wow. I forgot this racetrack is very tricky to get around. Right now, we're not going to pit because there's just way too many laps to go in this race. We wouldn't even make it halfway. Alright, caution Caution at the beginning of this race. So, so waiting to see when we're going to go green.
was like what happened at Bristol. We had the wreck coming out of pit road while we were leading the race. And after that, our race went down pretty bad. We were able, we were never able to recover in the race. Seven laps in, 43 laps to go. I don't think we, no, none of us can make it to the trigger flag at this point. I know you could go about 30 laps, at least 30, 35 laps. And that's that precaution. Okay, so we're going to go green this time by... We'll have 41 laps to go at the restart. Boy, I don't know how to get off the corner. I don't know. How, I don't remember being this slow at this racetrack. I honestly don't remember being this slow. Jared with damage to his front front end, I guess contact with somebody. Oh, Jeff Gordon just piled into us. Holy cow, Jeff, where did you come from, dude? Of course, he's our rival for the championship right now. We're up to 14th here in Martinsville. Leaders are in heavy traffic. Oh, it looks like he. Okay, see that with the pole sitter has fallen extremely back through the field. Boy, that would charge the corner.
Oh, Mark Martin just pal drove me hard there. It's around the 33. We're up to 8th, so we're looking really racy here. Martin forced it. Wow, Mark Martin drove it in the corner like his life depended on it, man. Oh, Kinza! Oh my goodness, Kinza just. What's up with all these dive bombs in the corner? They're, that's ridiculous, man. Oh, I saw Harvick get loose. I gotta watch out when these guys dive bomb the corner. Stewart's gonna do it again. That time he didn't surprise me because I was ready for it. All right, we're halfway next time by here, Martinzo. It's been a wild race for sure. Elliot Seller dive bombs. <laughs> These dive bombs are ridiculous here in Martinzo. I think we're a little bit more freer than we are now. I think we. I think it would be crazier. All right, we're halfway here, Martinsville. Wow, I just dive on the corner and paid for it. Yeah, by Rusty Wallace for third. All right, pit stops look like they're coming out here. Pass Terry Labonte for second. So who's the leader? The 10 car? Jeff Green, the race leader? Oh, contact between me and the 10. This is a battle for the lead here in Martinsville. Throw 20 laps to go. It's crossover by Jeff Green. Contact between the two. I forgot about the little. Oh, and I hit the wall like a crazy idiot. Tear the body to second. Trying to stay out as long as we possibly can. When Jeff Green comes to pit road, we're coming to pit road.
Jeff Green coming to pit road this time, Bobby. Jeff Green coming in. We're going to come in with 15 laps to go here, Martin's over. We're waiting for all the pit stops to commence. Loosen this race car just a little bit. Put the tank in. Alright, so before anything going, I stopped it right in the middle of the pit stops. Um, my battery was going to die, so I'll go ahead and change I went ahead and changed it. So we're going to come out. We're currently the race leader here. And there's the race leader right next. Terry Levine is going to come out literally with me. What a great pit stop. Now the question is, can these guys hang with me? Loosen this crazy car up with 13 laps to go here in Martinsville. Oh, Mayville gets on my inside. A 40th place starting position. Well, I literally came to a dead stop. We started 40th here for Martinsville. Terrible qualifying effort. I kind of figured we would have a better race car in the race. So right now I'm coming to 10 to go here in Martinsville. We sleep right. We're just the best car now. We had the caution in the beginning of the race it slowed us down. We made our way up halfway through the field. Oh, Bibble slides right into Newman. Thank goodness I was able to check up. <laughs> These dive bombs are just incredible here in Martinsville. It's crazy. Watch the four is going to do it to us here. <clears throat> so far pulling away from the field. Six to go for Ricky Rudd. We had the best car at Bristol, didn't get the job done there, thought that's uh, causing the caution that he trapped us a lot down, hurt us, finished 14, didn't really have a good car in Texas, which was a huge disappointing day for us, we thought we would have been better off, but we're out in front here in Martinsville, we got the lead right before Green Flag Pit Stops happened, we got the lead out of Green Flag Pit Stops. Four to go. And just a great performance on our end. Let's 
Three laps to go. Is Rusty, Rusty Wallace is in second, isn't he? He's trying to catch us. Oh, I screwed up the corner. Two laps to go here in Martinsville. We're out in front. I don't know who. I think Rusty Wallace is in second. I could be wrong. Get around our teammate. Here we go. White flag in the air here in Martinsville. We led the most laps. We had not led the race until after halfway. I'll turn two. And what a strange of events. We lead the most laps in Martinsville. As crazy as this race has been with all the dive bombs and all. But we're going to dive our bombs to the checkered flag. We win in Martinsville. What a race. Jeffrey in second. Bobby Labonte, Elliot Tyler, Dell Jr. Man, what a crazy race. Oh, that's when the costume fight came out with Johnny Benson. And that's whenever we all racing back to the... Oh, yeah, that's... that could have been right there. Matt Kenseth does a great job of recovering, I believe. No, actually, he didn't. Wow. We'll see where Matt Kenseth finishes. So there's the results here in Martinsville. I thought that was Rusty Wallace right behind me at one point. But I win the race. Jeff Green, Bobby Labonte, Elliot Sadler, Dale Leonard Jr., Mark Martin, Terry Labonte, Rusty Wallace, Jeff Gordon, Tony Stewart. So, uh, where did Matt Kenseth finish? Because me and Matt had that contact out there. Matt Kenseth, Matt Kenseth finished 14. Not a bad race overall. But how many people led laps in this race? This race was dominated by a lot of people. Well, it was only dominated by four people. But I led the most laps at 20 laps. Terry Labonte led 17 laps in this race. Wow, we led the last 20 laps at one at some point. But with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the race. And uh, we'll get out of here. We'll take a look at the championship standings through eight races here in NASCAR Thunder 2002. And we're 90 points ahead of Jeff Gordon, 92 points ahead of Jeff Gordon, 139 ahead of Kevin Hart, Del Jarrett, 168, 182, 248, 284, 285, 293, and 303, and then Woodburn, 380 back. Terry Labonte had a good run. Terry Labonte, 19th in points. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the race. As always, drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new. I'm Houghton Evolution. I'll see you guys at the Talladega Super Speedway for the Talladega 500. And uh, hopefully we can recover after a tough Daytona 500 and get things rolling. Um, and get things rolling after. I believe, yeah, we did win the Daytona 500. We just had a long day in the 500. So, with that being said, have a great day. And I'll see you guys at Talladega.